working well. I wanted to do a little bit of a review and also an inside look of Mockflow. Um, Mockflow is something that I've been using for quite a while. Um, I find it a little bit easier to use than XD, although XD is a pretty awesome tool in itself, but um, this is an inexpensive way um, to build wireframes and to build mockups for websites that you want to do for clients or even for yourself. Uh, kind of, I find it uh, quite easy to use for myself. Now, I do use things like Elementor or Divi, which are page builders, basically drag and drop page builders um, in WordPress, which I might do some videos on that later. Um, but which basically when you use those tools, you don't really need to do a mock-up because you can almost do a mock-up inside them. But I do find building a mock-up first uh, is quicker because it gives me a chance to experiment a little bit, try a different two pardon me, try a few different things um, before I actually go and say, put pen to paper, so to speak. So Mockflow is a pretty cool tool. Um, this is just their homepage. It goes over all the features um, and everything that they do. And it's, you can use it. I don't really use it to its full potential. I totally could though. Um, I'm literally just using a free account because that's all I need for now. Um, but in terms of if you want to use it, inside your agency, inside your um, business, you can actually hook up, um, you know, client accounts and things like that so they can jump on and have a look. But uh, let's dive right in here and see what we're looking at. So as you can see here, this is one of the pages that I've built. So this is actually with, um, they have different, not themes, but different styles that you can choose from. Um, so these are literally like, that's a button, um, these are like image blocks, so you can tell where the images are. And then these are obviously uh, heading in text boxes. And then these are image boxes as well. Now I can actually link them here. So this one's actually linked to an image. Uh, and that gives me an opportunity to, I can copy that. I can then paste it, go and do my mock-up or, or grab the picture. And then when I'm building the actual website, and you can actually put real, real images here as well, of course. Um, so they've got lots of different options. So if we have a look here on the left-hand side here, if we click here, we've got all these different things. So we can do flow charts if we're doing funnels. Um, we can do uh, lots of different, we can put video video players, they got the emoji CRM web. So if you were doing like a, a web app or something like that, you could use this as well, which would be really handy because a lot of web apps are this more, you know, design style. They're not as much, um, you know, plug and play as Elemental, although there are tools out there now that are pretty cool that, you know, do help you with those kind of things. Uh, obviously, you've got forms as well and things like that. So I was just using the sketchy hand draw, and that's what I use the most. Uh, and what it allows me to do is really, really quickly do a little mock-up like this, and then I can send it, um, you know, to my team, and they can have a look and tell me what they think of it, give me some feedback before I actually go and put it on the website now. If you want to see what this actually looks like on the website now that I've actually designed it here and brought it over, I can give you a look. So this is the actual website. So this is the design that I had in mind. So if we go back to here really quickly, whoop, this one here, so you can see I've got like, these are the different images and they're, they're all the different websites. Um, and I've just used mockups for now, just for an ex, just to show you guys. Um, but obviously there's mobile optimized website, blah, 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 all the content and everything in there. And then that last image, which is right there. So if we go back to it, you can see here, this is what I, what I envision. It looks really cool. I think they overlap a little bit like they, like they're supposed to got a little bit of a shadow on there, you know, to stand out a little bit more. Um, it's got all the content that I write down in there. Um, it's got the images I wanted, although I might change that one. Um, once you put the images in, it gives you a good look of, um, you know, whether you like it or not. So that is something that you can do in Monkflow. Um, I just prefer actually just to pop it in here though. Um, it's less files to upload and things like that. It saves me a little bit of time. Um, complete end and solution, all these different things that I added in there. Um, and then what I can actually do is I can reference it so I can get them and I can put them on my two screens like this. And I can have a look and make sure that they're actually the same and what I'm actually looking for. 
There we go. And I can actually check that they actually match up. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to as well, I could actually um, take a screenshot of um, of this. So I could actually take a full uh, full width screenshot and then do the same thing on my wireframe, uh, on my mock-up, sorry. And then I can actually match them to see if they're looking right. Um, you know, if I want to really, really stick to that design. Um, you can also use uh, mock flow for clients, like I mentioned before. So you can actually add clients so you can go share. And then you can share it with the clients that you've got. Uh, you've, you can also build site maps. Um, you know, if you link it with your clients, they can give you design approvals or if you're your upper team. Um, and then style guides. Uh, so that's like if you bring a, a client on and they have a certain brand or style that they want to stick with, you can put the, that information in before you start the uh, mock-up, which is really handy. So I hope this has given you guys a good idea of what Mockflow is, what po what's possible with Mockflow. Obviously, there's a lot more in depth that I could go with this. I just wanted to give everyone a quick look today, uh, but feel free to drop in the comments any questions you got, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, guys.